Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to feet. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorp, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't yeah. make him to keep up? Yes, Garkus, that is exactly what I would have done. 
Octavius promise you, Scorpion. But Garvin has no principle. He tried for profit. Untrue. I ripped Spider-Man's face off for free. <laughs> Now's my chance. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me, or my best people is on it. been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Oh boy, making a move on us. Uh, 
Electro trying to destroy our power. The Vulture raining death from above. Spider-Man egging them both on in the very heart of our city, brawling like children. Lethal children, pitching a tantrum of death and destruction. I'm often asked, why do menaces like this end up with awesome powers? Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a more hands-on way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hard-working, ordinary people of New York. So I'll just help via my talk show, my publishing empire, and my vast personal fortune. No need to thank me. It's what a man of the people does. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Oh boy, I'm gonna play as MJ now. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs! Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security get room's open. Awesome. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control, I heard something. Running a sw Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Easy. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable. Right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. Stupid useless button. Mm. <laughs> when you're going to work and you haven't gone to sleep? No 
Zimmerman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's pal- MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Looks like a boatload of electrical is routed right behind that painting of Norman. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Go. the combat prototype from the schematic. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Norman bids his son farewell. This must be from when Harry left a secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there.
Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. What? I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Hmm. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Where's Harry's room? City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, Hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Can't be for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Maybe for you today. Huh. Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk. That's dad. Dr. Michael said thinks it's more like a 50-50. So, okay, I might not make it. That happens, I bet you'll be reading this, dad. Oh, Mike, and you're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, dad, and there's no risk at all, turns out to be another caught Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them, please. Thanks, dad. Love you. Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watts. Guys, I'm real sorry. Really sorry if you're reading this. Man, this is tough. Even in the 
imagined hypo hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Yeah. Doctors think it's the same thing mom had. Neurodegeneration's rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because... Well, I didn't tell you. I was worried about how you react. I couldn't stand to see you go through that. What my mom did, watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was the worst than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times I was wiped out from partying or just super busy. Not partying, not busy. So the Europe trip is well to cover. Going in for treatment. Experimental long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promise it'll work. He hates that nickname the text habit. Devil's breath. Say it makes something good seem scary. But maybe it's double first what I need little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, that's here. Time to go. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Christ. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. <gasps> Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Something control. Stand by. Okay. July eighteen. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Wow, Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. 